and Cups, myself, Darkside0895, Affordable Dreams, and we got uh, some special guests who will be doing the AHL media shows this upcoming season to help us out with the prospects. Tournament here is Mike Noddy and Sunshine. Welcome back to the show, guys. How you doing? Good. How's everybody? Doing great. Doing great. Good, good. Yeah, so tonight we're uh, finishing off the tournament that started last night between the uh, Four CHL leagues for a prospects tournament. It's between the ECHL and the WHL, who tied with a four and one record. And we'll be uh, doing a little, we'll finish up here for a championship to see who the top prospects really are. Um, now, Mike, being the captain <clears throat> for the WHL, um, what are you expecting to see from your squad coming out here? Uh, more of the same that they did yesterday. Uh, really, uh, really uh, solid on the puck. Uh, and playing that uh, that 4-1 inside the zone. And uh, Penn Stater standing on his head again. All right, all right. And um, I'll kind of, you know, get my opinion here as the captain of the ECHL, um, or almost better named the Idaho Steelheads. Um, <laughs> you know, playing some, a really strong game after they uh, were a little shaky to start. I mean, they had a couple... Not great games, but started clicking, and goaltending goal started standing up too, and it started to look really good, so I think it should be a good matchup, and both teams taking one in the series last night in both very tight games. So it should, exactly. be, should be a good one. Um, now, to kind of recap there, Sunshine coming in with the uh, OHL, who unfortunately didn't do the hottest. Um, anything you might have changed with the lineups? Anything you might have done to try and improve the uh, team's performance? I'll try to find us a center. Yeah, that would help. Uh, uh, no, uh, they didn't play bad, honestly. Uh, a little frustration when you play well and you don't win. I yeah, get it. Sure. Out of position, uh, step up and try their best. But obviously, uh, when you're going up against basically an all-star team, if you don't have a, a center that can win draws, you're going to have a, a rough time. I mean, you don't play the position. I can't blame them. Oh, at their yeah, best, no. unfortunate sure. results. And, and, but... and obviously, big shout out to the guys who did stick with it even after they went down early. Yeah, yeah big heads off to him. Big heads off to him. Yeah, for sure. I am a bit frustrated. I don't like quitters. No, no me either. Me either. But the ones that stopped, uh, the first three games, I mean, I think they lost like one, one, and two or something like that. Like, they were close games. Yeah. They good. weren't getting like stomped anywhere. No. You know, well, until they they ran into the uh, ECHL. I mean, that happens. I mean, but the ECHL, really, you, you got to think the first three games, ECHL was not really looking form. And not, it's game four, they hit their stride. And they started, you know, playing a lot stronger and actually taking bigger leads in games. But the first three games, it was a back and forth between all three teams. Uh, even the WHL taking their uh, 3 nothing lead in this series, they were one of the games. Yeah. So they were all sure. close in the first three. Yeah, no, for sure. Looks like uh, uh, Snipes is searching, by the way. But where yeah, I've got that. Uh, got that. <laughs> We're still waiting on a G here. Give me a second. Yeah, no worries. Um, yeah, so in the meantime, we'll just kind of chat a little bit about the tournament so far while these guys uh, get their stuff sorted out. Um, but yeah, no, at the end of the day, like we kind of talked about with, with the players, it's 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 for fun. It's for some people maybe see some hidden gems that could go late in the drafts, that sort of idea. Um, so like like we were saying, you know, congrats to the guys who stuck around and, and, and played and realized, you know what, it's just for fun. Like it's not going to affect our LG it stats. No one's going to exactly. no one's gonna come hunt us down if we lose. So let's just play it. To the guys who felt like they needed to quit, I mean, I hope you can uh, act a little differently when you're playing at a higher level because I don't I mean, imagine honestly, it's going to be tolerated. Honestly, walking away and quitting is what's going to hurt your stock. Yeah, that was pretty much the more, main thing. More, more than playing and losing. Yeah, for sure. And we're, ser we're searching, boys. Perfect. All right. So All game right. time coming up very shortly here.
So uh, I guess since me and you, Sunshine, are the backseat here with not either team of ours making it, both having some rough goes, who are you leaning towards to see win this? Uh, I certainly don't want Mike to win. But at the same time, <laughs> <laughs> the dude's got a goaler that I, I, I really like, and his team has played solid all night, or rather all last night. And uh, as much as I don't want him to win, you know, that's my boy for, for the show. It's my partner. So uh, definitely ECHL can uh, tear an Achilles and not play tonight. It's fine. <laughs> wow. So I, what I'm Real hearing well. is that uh, there has to be injuries involved for us to lose. <laughs> well, I see, and myself coming here being an ECHL and myself, uh, and, and having dark side, you know, the well-known uh, right-wing shitter, uh, <laughs> joining forces and, and, and coming as my GM, uh, I, I got a root for the ECHL here to come out and stand their heads and playing the Idaho in the uh, ECHL final. I know what they can do. Uh, I have tons of faith in the boys. Uh, and to clarify there, Dark, uh, the injury was just so you didn't have to embarrass yourself on the ice tonight. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't even out on the ice, bud. 1v1 <laughs> me. <laughs> Wait, did I hear this? Uh, you had a, like, uh, some kind of game and uh, you got rattled? You couldn't score forehand? In a shootout. <laughs> yeah. What, what had, happened? Uh, what had, happened last night there, Dark? Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, Sunshine got his his confidence back, but the uh, previous what eight tries? Guy was confirmed. Oh, calm her down. Calm her down, buddy. <laughs> you got you got shit mixed. It's all right. <laughs> I had I had to let you get a couple there, you know. Sure. A couple didn't, series. Didn't uh, didn't it. want you to uh, didn't want you to go into the season not uh, not thinking forehand. I mean, is there another side of the stick? <laughs> All right, we finally matched up here. Betty Luck, no DR errors, and we'll get locked and loaded, get some hockey going. Yeah, let's get it. Get the puck drop. Screen. Hey, so, oh, Mike, did you, talk, did you talk to your team with all Mike come to the game, give me a pep talk to get him you know, fired up, or did you just say, let him do the thing? No, no, no. We, uh, I've been chatting with those boys all day. They're excited. Uh, they don't really need much motivation from me. Uh, you know, they know what's on on the line here, and uh, they're going to go out there and uh, you know lay it down. You know. Perfect. How, how about you, Dark? Did you talk to your boys today at all? Or did you just kind of say, you know what, I'm going to be that GM that sits in the box and say nothing? Honestly, I stuck with my game plan from this entire tournament for the ECHL, and I let uh, I let the Steelheads boys uh, take care of themselves. They got there themselves go. pumped up. Uh, they got themselves don't, ready. Don't lie, don't lie Dark. You, you boys were, <laughs> were talking mad all day long. So you played, you played <laughs> I was, I was talking to back. Uh, don't lie, management don't team has kind of stood back, right? <laughs> Dumbfounded. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, no, I mean, these guys are, are ready, and this is potentially the last time they get to play together as a as a group. Mm -hmm. So, I'm sure they're fired up for it. Yeah, for sure. And it was, yeah, the puck has been dropping, by the way. Just, uh, yeah, about three minutes into the first year, a bit of an <laughs> odd man rush and a sauce pass that doesn't quite make it to Heinze, who gets plastered along the boards there. WHL trying to break it back out. Um, and, and that's one thing I will say about my ECHL squad is maybe a few too many cross creases. Um, they like that sauce, and uh, it's not always been their best friend, whereas the W cycles a little better, does use those points a little better. So we'll see uh, which one can, can utilize their strengths better. Definitely, definitely. We'll say the uh, the ECHL taking a big L on the style factor. Those unis are hideous. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I like the uh, I like the red and black. I'm not gonna lie. A support for you there, Dark. A lot of support. But, uh, look, look at the boys here, just swarming. It's they're getting rattled. ECHL getting rattled early here. <laughs> I mean, these these guys have been rattled before. They have bounced back. Uh, you watch it all, a couple of times in playoffs where they, they you know they went down some slumps and then came back hard. They like being rattled because it just it just feels slump. Yeah, adversity is, is sort of been their friend, and we got a two on one rush here with Heinze hanging on to it, passing it across, and there's the opening goal from Heinze to shoots and scores. Um, just like that. I couldn't I, I couldn't <laughs> hear you with a goal horn, Sonny. You were saying something about my team losing. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of hockey left to be played there, bud. So, so point of fact, boys. Uh, WHO has a new center tonight. Uh, somebody didn't get an opportunity to play yesterday. We, we're throwing him in there for for the games tonight. Uh, heart attack. 
Uh, should be interesting to see how, how the chemistry works with these guys. So. And how they adjust to a new guy on the ice. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, for sure. I, I can see game one maybe being a bit of a, a slow start, but coming into game two of the best of three, they might uh, pick it up and figure out his his strengths combined with theirs and get something going. They can even do the second period for you know. Maybe first period touch the feeling part, and then they just yeah, for sure. like, never know. But yeah, big turn over here, and WHL doing a good job to not really give any room to break in there. No, the past few minutes have been kind of neutral zone play. Not much in anyone's end. No, a little bit of sloppy play. Um, turnovers, a lot at the blue line trying to break in. Uh, I think the team that can figure out <clears throat> how to make those crisp short passes quickly um, will will have the definite advantage here as opposed to trying to skate it in with one guy. Yeah, for sure, for sure, yeah. And there's some uh, nice like... moves at the point, but... Uh, Pass goes errant. Uh, what is this? Barry Arbor, however you pronounce that guy's name, is playing, playing back on his heels a little too much. It looks like he's, uh, you know, trying to prevent that uh, that odd man rush that uh, allowed ECHL to get their first goal. Yeah, for sure. Which I mean, uh, can help, but it can also hurt you quite a bit offensively. And a nice bank pass there up to Heinze, actually. Uh, and again, looking for that cross when it's not there and it gets forced a bit, but back to the point and a nice tip shot that. Uh, uh, the goaltender makes a nice, easy save on. That probably threw the way. Held on to it a little too long there. Yep. Oh, and Heinz is cleaned. That is, uh, that is a big hit. There, if I've ever seen it. Right. <laughs> but he got up right away. He wasn't injured. He got up right away. He shook it off. Yeah, for sure. And to answer the greatness in our uh, chat here, this is the... Uh, the finals, best of three for the prospect tournament that started last night with uh, some, with 12 games being broadcast by uh, the four of us here. Um, so, yeah, stick around and uh, see who the, the champion is here. Definitely. Look, 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 someone to raise that prospect's cup, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. About uh, 30 seconds left in the first period here. With an ECHL lead, and the WHL going for maybe one more rush here as they uh, try to capitalize and, and tie it up, but looks like the clock's going to run out before they can get into the zone. And throwing across on a, a bit of a force there, taken away pretty easily, and we go into the second period tied. Oh, sorry, up one nothing with ECHL. Up one nothing, yes, sir. I, I was going to say, Mike, did, did, did you have a, sort of a captain for your team coming in, someone that takes the lead leadership role for, like, pep talks while you're not there? Uh, no, that's just been... All right. Okay. If you're in that party and you're part of this game right now, what's what's being said in the party to make this game kind of bounce back in your favor? Uh, well, I mean, I think they just uh, need to be a little more responsible on the on the uh, on the rush coming back. Uh, Hokey got beat a couple times there, uh, and it showed on the odd man rushes. So, uh, you know, if it, if it's me, I'm just uh, you know, we got to be uh, a little more aggressive on the on the back check and make sure our D guys nobody gets behind us. Definitely, definitely. And, and dark for, for you, if you're in that party and in the locker room talking, what are you saying to your guys? What period? Um, I'm I'm saying they played a bit of risky first, trying to capitalize off the rush exclusively. Uh, it's worked out to them for them so far. Uh, I would try and get a cycle game going. Uh, try and manage that clock a little bit. You know, n not really forcing too much. Just look for the chances that are there when they're there. Um, as opposed I mean, to trying to make this a good point, style. Uh, considering you behind by two minutes time attack. Yeah, again, you don't want to be giving up that much TOA. And, um, Definitely it's, not. It, it can bite you, especially if you want to try and open up the ice and go for run and gun. When you have a lead, that's usually not in your favor. That's right, that's right. And a nice pass here on a bit of a rush play here, thrown back to the point, thrown on that for the tip. And the WHO clears it out pretty quickly. And that's sort of what I'm talking about, is they're, they're getting one-and-done chances. Um, which again, if, if they capitalize on them, great. If they don't, it, it usually means uh, a longer possession for the WHL, like we're seeing right now. Definitely. But I will say they're doing a good job to to stop the WHL from taking any shots. As you can see, in the first, they only managed one. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, uh, in my opinion, our boys at the W are being a little too selective. They just need to, you know, do the sunshine roll. Yep. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you have to, man. Especially down a goal when you start getting some shots. Make sure that goalie's awake. A nice chance there and closed off pretty quickly. 
as the uh, faceoff will go into the WHL zone with 14.55 left on the clock in the second period. Sunshine, I, I, since you, know, you haven't had much to, to be asked about since, I mean, have, me, you both don't because our guys aren't here. Uh, if, if you're on either side here, what, what the heck are you thinking to you guys? And what, what would be your pickup speech? Uh, you know, quite honestly, uh, I'm not big on pickup speeches. I just okay. think you need to play your game. Uh, just don't don't deviate from what you're doing. You've had success to this point. But if you're down one, if you're up one, just keep playing your game. Uh, get the trap a little tighter because they are getting kind of toasted out here. But uh, not much. Like I, I don't know. Don't I, I wouldn't worry about it too much. A lot of time left. Definitely, definitely a lot of time left. Yeah, and a nice break in there by the WHL, but again, with the, with the selectiveness of it, um, resulting in a bit of a turnover there. When they finally do opt to shoot, and it, it sends the OA, uh, so the ECHL back on the uh, the rush here, who are unable to capitalize. And that's sort of been the nature of it, is the WHL, cycle, 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 don't shoot, lose it. And then the ECHL comes back down and tries to, to rush play, and it also does not work. Uh, and that's why we've seen a lack of scoring. <clears throat> it's almost yeah. as if they're having difficulty trying to understand how, how to beat a collapsing defense. Um, you know, uh, you look at all five red jerseys are in front of that net and, and it's just, uh, you, you know, that's where, where you got to get your center to plant, plant his happy butt right in front of that, that 10 D and the wingers just pump them to the points and lay the rubber on them. Definitely. And, you know, until they, until they come out of that. And then, and then when they come out of that, then you can try the pretty stuff. Yep. Exactly. Yeah, they're, sure. they're continuing sure. to force the pretty stuff. With five guys, you know, in the slot in front of that net, it's not going to happen. It's just no. not. No, not unless you uh, get really lucky, but you're not going to. You can't rely on that consistently. Uh, and the ECHL battling down here to, to, to finally get some uh, behind the net play, but uh, unfortunately, no support there for Snipes as he's the only one down low there. Uh, the ECHL is the uh, red jersey. He's currently up one nothing. We're watching from the ECHL's perspective as of right now. It looks like uh, your boys are getting burned on the face-offs quite regularly there, Dark. Yeah, they are. Um, but it doesn't appear as though the WHL is able to capitalize on it much. You see another icing, icing coming in here. Yeah, the uh, ECHL is locking that trap down pretty hard. Yeah, they, yeah are. they are. And that's sort of been their style the entire season. And I'm sure that's a benefit to them, the fact that they played a lot together outside of uh, the goaltender and the left D. Um, but I had some practice last night, obviously, right? Getting some chemistry, so... Um, they're doing a, doing a good job of limiting the break-ins here. The WHL's got to find a way to break through that if they uh, if they want to regain the lead here. And that's one way to do it with turnovers at the point if you can stay on side, or turnovers at the line if you can stay on side. Yep, for sure. So it would be beneficial. Maybe do a little dump and chase. Get those guys back on their heels a little bit. Yeah, try and back them up a little bit. Maybe some uh, some slap shot plays. Whatever you can do to make it work. The slap shot play. <laughs> I don't know. I've never done it. Hmm. And a nice poke shift there to get it up, but... Uh... Getting clobbered to shoots and scores as the WHL resets, trying to break in, cutting through the middle here. And uh, a backhander on net, but he manages to regain it. Tries to get a secondary shot, no luck. And there's that that force sauce I talked a little bit about coming into the game where uh, they're trying to get the rush going really quickly, but they managed to draw a penalty. The yeah, so they got a penalty at least. Yeah, and that's, that's a bit of uh, luck there. I'll say, um, you know, you don't want to be forcing those neutral zone sauces if the guy's covered. Um, but uh, seven seconds left here in the second, and we'll see the first power play kickoff here for the ECHL. Yeah, you oh, probably, the, the penalty passes on goaltender. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, a little, uh, little dicey to end the period. Yeah, yeah, it could have been dangerous. <laughs> those pass goals seem to always go in. And if you come from your own team, it always goes in usually as well. <laughs> You 
You know, and that, that penalty at the end of the period was probably just more of a frustration penalty than anything else. I would agree, well, yeah. And again, well, the ECHL um, really just locking them down, only limiting them to the EWHL to two shots, uh, despite almost five minutes of time on attack. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, at least ECHL did bounce back in time attack here and gain some ground on that. Yeah, for sure. And WGL, I mean, on both sides, honestly, lackluster shots and periods. Yeah, I mean, it's it's really hasn't been uh, too much of an offensive game. Uh, like like Mike said, I think both teams are trying to be a little too selective, trying to get those pretty passes through, uh, where they need to start Definitely. just throwing some some turds on on pads. Definitely. A uh, little saying around uh, Tucson: it happens to be shitter season, and it's time <laughs> to start using it. You know, I heard that last season from another AHL team. I just don't think they made the playoffs. <laughs> it sounds like a lot of fake news. It sounds like they probably won like 45 games or so. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, the ECHL trying to set up here and cycling out of that corner here. Rotating his uh, CR. Trying to throw it across for that cross, but uh, uh, there is the defenseman, right? And <clears throat> it's been the sort of the story of this game is they're just trying to catch him sleeping on, on one or two, right? Um, and they better hope they can maintain this one nothing lead if they if they can't find a way to sneak uh, a forced cross crease through. Definitely. I mean, it, it could bite him in the ass, right? So. I'm finally starting to use the point is the ECHL, getting a couple uh, good shots there. Ah, rule of thumb, right? Try it a few times. It doesn't work. Switch it up. Yeah, you've got you got to have a couple tricks in your bag. I mean, other, otherwise you're, you're predictable and easy to shut down. Exactly. You know, Sunshine, how would you how how would you approach a, a team that does that that uh, that puts all five guys collapse down low? Would you would you overload or would you just start throwing? Uh, you know, as you say, shitter season. It really depends. Um, they're collapsing to a point where they can just basically run an umbrella power play at any time. That's all night. Yeah, yeah, just get, get One, quick. Uh, another way to beat that that I've found is, you know, you, you drop all, all three of your fours on the same board and, and you work until you pull one of those guys out of there and, and make some room. Have to. Definitely. The only, only other way you're going to get there is uh, before they can uh, set, down, set up down low. But uh, they don't seem to be wanting to go off the rush too much. I can't say I blame them, but. You do, Definitely. For sure. And still one nothing here. 14 minutes left in the third here. And the WHL trying to break in and get something going. Throwing that turd like we talked about. Gets a rebound. They tie it up. And uh, a good job is. of the WHL to, <laughs> to finally change up the strategy a little bit here. It's expected, right? Coming in third period, uh, a close game. you got to see the few adjustments, right? And and, and and you've seen that right there. That They did exactly what I was saying there. They they, they rotated. They, they got out of the, the traditional left winger on the left side, right winger on the right side, they all went to the right side, and then the, cent the center went busted uh, down the slot, and it was able to get the rebound. Yep, exactly. Yeah, I guess they're probably communicating on the party about, about that, and, and maybe, you know, decide uh, to, to change it up a little bit as a team. Because mm -hmm. uh, you definitely see different uh, style out of them coming in this period. Yeah, for sure, and uh, to kind of get to that point is you see the ECHL not changing a lot here. Getting a little aggressive, you see in a couple guys getting uh, beat there, looking for the hit, trying to <clears throat> close this off, starting to feel the pressure a little bit. The ECHL's got to calm it down and uh, sort of feed the WHL some of their own medicine and get some uh, some turds on net, some nice point shots with tips out front. I mean, they've gotten a couple nice point to, uh, point shots, but unfortunately no one no one home out front. Yeah, but you see, they were doing exactly as I, as I, as I explained to you is working that overload on the side, mm -hmm. drawing somebody away, to open up some lanes mm -hmm. to get into the center of the ice. Now, did you go into your Discord there and talk to the guys and, and give them a, a little pep talk to switch it up, or is this is all other? No, that's all these guys. I let them. I let them <laughs> handle the, their game. Uh, okay, right I, on, I am. I am a de facto manager for these boys, uh, but uh, good on them for figuring it out on their own. Definitely. Uh, Definitely. And it, it's just kind of. Uh, Maybe it's like I had ESPN and uh, <laughs> yeah. to, uh, transmit that to them. Yeah. <laughs> and in uh, case you don't know, that's extra central, uh, extra sports peripheral network. Yes, exactly, exactly. <laughs> oh, what a nice pass out front, but uh, shoots and scores gets uh, an unfortunate animation puck bouncing off his stick. Oh, you got to one T that, my. Do. Yeah, that's uh, that's not ideal. And then hanging on to it on the forehand, just trying to 
<clears throat> make up for his mistake. But yeah, that's that's one you have to hammer home. Yeah, definitely. And we're starting to see a little a little faster pace here and a lot more turnovers because of it and uh, a delayed penalty coming up to the ECHL with about two minutes left in the third period here. And Sped's looking real good this game. Yeah, I think he's feeling himself. Yeah, it looks like it. And I believe he was part of the original lineup that was able to beat the ECHL the first time. So maybe that's a factor. It could be. It could be 100% right. And we'll, we're going to see uh, in the second game, we're going to see uh, Hart uh, get reunited with uh, Canadian Vampire, uh, two line mates during the season. So that okay. should be interesting too. About a minute left here in the third period. Uh, about yeah, a minute left could in the third period. be our play. overtime game coming again, right? Yeah. <laughs> But there's this power play of will, 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 will succeed till the period ends for sure, and a bit into the overtime would happen. So uh, it could be uh, a big advantage to, to capitalize now, right? Yeah, most definitely. And the ECHL managing to burn some time out here, and again going for that force cross, especially when there's uh, you're they're, down they're waiting on it. They're waiting on WHL. They're saying, uh, uh we know what you're doing, what you're going for, and they're waiting. Yeah, not only that, uh, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend that on a. Um... A shorthanded chance where you're you're outnumbered as uh, it is. I, I think the the WHO is exposing the Idaho Steelheads. I mean the ECHL as uh, being a <laughs> one trick pony. Yeah, I mean so far it's it's held true, only slipping up once. But uh, maybe the ECHL can uh, change their tune and find a way to score a different way. Be very careful. These these ECHL guys do have their cheat code play. They might pull oh. it off. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and oh, uh, six point four seconds. Yeah, that. that's a that's a big so. one. Oh, <laughs> ECHL again falling for WHL. Uh, almost almost indefinite for this game for sure. Uh, can they hold out ECHL and, and, and get the revenge with WHL? Yeah, that's, and that's some clutch play right there, boys. Yeah, it is, and uh, blown coverage there on the backdoor pass. Um, so that'll give the WHL the. One nothing lead in the series so far with 2.7 left here. Slim chance of getting anything. But uh, we'll see off this face-off here. And, and yet another crucial win for the WHL as they take game one in the series. And I will say hats yeah. off to the WHL. They they were the uh, the better team in terms of uh, adaptation to their They definitely were, especially style. in the third period. How, how they switched it up and got a different game plan going and, and uh, capitalized on all the chances. Yeah, for sure. So it'll be a short break here. No, we're not going to go off stream. We're a short break to get a reset back in the locker rooms and we'll start again almost immediately. Yeah, uh, it should only be a couple minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So stick with us. Uh, game two is about to happen. Uh, there could be a game three. It all depends if the ECH can win this game or not. It's a big if. Oh. Well, this is do or die, right? <laughs> only, um, it's a best of three here. So only one more chance to, to win. Yep, exactly, exactly. Um, to you, M Mike, the uh, manager of the winning team, obviously, um, who did you feel was the standout player um, in that game for the WHL? Uh, I got to go with Sped. Sped uh, played a heck of a game, and it seems like uh, when he turned it on in the third period, that's when the boys started uh, started uh, responding. Um, you know, uh, they got burnt early. Uh, defense did, but good on them for... Uh, recognizing the style of play the ECHL was going with and, and adjusting accordingly. And they were able to, uh, you know, really eliminate any good chances that the, the E had the rest of the game. Uh, but I think Sped overall uh, led that led that line to the W. Yeah, oh, for sure, for sure. Um, and I will uh, I will give it to Can of Twenty playing really well back there in net. He did a great job. Yeah, only allowing uh, two goals, but unfortunately uh, both were <clears throat> damn near unsavable. 
Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, both goalies on the other side definitely had, had great games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of those was a power play goal, too, so you can't really blame the goaltender too much. No, you, you really can't. Um, yeah, the first one being a, uh, a pad shot where we all know if you've played goalie, you're not you're not sliding over in time for those. Yeah, let's let the uh, EC gels back in the locker room just waiting. Uh, looks like uh, we have a guy do look it's still stuck in the in the in, the, in the, the the last game menu hasn't come back yet, so maybe a bathroom break for him, maybe a smoke break, who knows? And then we're gonna have a, a couple uh, lineup swap ups for the W, so I give us a minute to to get her squared away. Oh, yeah, for sure. No problem. No problem. Don't worry. <clears throat> so dark from your team, are you gonna give any advice coming in the next game to maybe change it up a bit, or are you just let them try their own little minds and figure it out? Um, you know what? I'm going to let them um, sort their own thing out. Again, sort of the same mentality as um, as Mike. Perfect, um, perfect. You know, as much as uh, I want to represent the ECHL and I want them to win, uh, at the end of the day, it's uh, it's them. It's their it's their job. Um, it's just trying to get noticed, right? So, yep. so you can adapt and apply. Yeah, for sure. Plus, I'm, I'm pretty sure they don't need a, a TC's opinion anyway. Oof. <laughs> I like the uh, the extra long dead air after that comment. Too. It made me feel good. Like <laughs> everyone was like, yeah, we're not going to touch that one. <laughs> this is a riveting stream right now, boys. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, I, think, I think we're also kind of tired from yesterday. It was a long one. Uh, and right now we're like our brains aren't all there <laughs> i want to give a big shout out to uh my division from last year being the toughest in the league and uh everybody from my division following me to the other conference i really appreciate it i i, I, I wanted it yeah for sure and, and being that you're uh gming again for uh the same roster we'll say different team um, for the Tucson Roadrunners that's coming up, up upcoming season and there being some pretty stiff competition. Um, you know, I'm, I'm sure the NHL ownership takes into account some of your input when it comes to draft picks and, and prospects. Um, <clears throat> what are you looking for out of these players? What sort of style of play or hockey sense are you looking for out of these guys to maybe recommend? And so if we're talking defensemen, uh, I want somebody that knows how to get rid of the puck as soon as they touch it in the defensive zone. Rid of it. Um, no, I'm just joking. But uh, just just playing it in a system, having the patience to not rush things, but at the same time not being uh, too puck centric and, and not being able to play without it. it it's definitely uh, the rotations and the cycling in the neutral zone to beat traps. And it, it's cycling and, and realizing when it's time to take that cross crease or when it's time, to, like, let's just throw a turret on net and get ourselves a rebound. Um, and goalies, uh, can you keep the puck out of the net and do you look good doing it? Yeah, for sure. You know, can you make the save facing the glass? That's the real question. Uh, uh, I mean, ECHL searching, but I'm not sure about the LBHS. No, uh, we, uh, we, need, we need a few minutes. We're, Sorry, we're, we're, we're uh, getting, getting a right D, so give us a moment. For sure. I not think, to go um, too far into it, but uh, also but, no egos. Like I, I don't think I, I, I might not speak for everybody in the AHL, but uh, if you have an ego, I, I, I usually do not care how good you are. Like, bye, have fun on TC or someone else's team. I, and I'll, I'll, I'll agree as someone who's who's managed, obviously not at the AHL level, but uh, at the CHL level. Yeah, there's there's so little time for people to put as much effort as managers do to put up with that kind of stuff. Um, just not, just not for me. Like, you, you'll, you'll find the bench is, is very warm. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure, for sure. And everyone wants that good locker room guy, right? Um, everyone's a little less willing to trade or move uh, a player that they feel is is integral to the group and the morale, right? <laughs> the Preds confirmed ego team. I love it though. <laughs> Uh, right, so you got uh, you got Street Smurf coming your way, buddy.
Uh, what I was going to say is, um, you know, I, my opinion is goaltenders are one of the hardest positions to scout. It definitely is. Uh, do you feel the same way, or do you think they're just kind of cookie cookie cutter there, Sunshine? Uh, like I said, uh, it's about how you look. Like, not, not so much like, are you doing flashy things? Like, are you in the right spot? Are you sliding around a ton? You know, are you are you nice and are centered? You are you position, trusting your right? defenseman? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, let's be honest. Like, you can you can be in perfect position, and EA can just decide, yeah, this is going in on you. Sorry. And like, yeah, that exactly. looks bad on stats, but at the same time, if he's there, you assume 99% of the time it's a save. And, and if a goalie trusts note, like, the D and he gets beat on, on, on a uh, cross crease, I mean, you can't always blame him. He's trusting his D to, to pick it off and play, playing the puck at the point in time. Some and at the same time, if, you, if he's right sticking and, and making these crazy saves, it looks real cool, but you only right stick because you're way out of position. Mm-hmm. Yes, exactly. for sure. Uh, some of the, the better goaltenders I've talked to uh, have told me, I mean, I they'll, they'll right stick maybe once a game um, just because they, they don't need to. They're reading the play properly. They're in position and ready for it. Uh, looks like we're all in the room. We're going to be searching here in a moment. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, it looks like the West Coast is, uh, is lined up. We'll be watching from uh, Ripley 52 stream this time from the WHL's perspective going into game two. And to answer uh, Ginger, who's asking, um, we're uh, not technically interviewing anyone. It's uh, the AHL media combined with the CHL media right now. So obviously myself, Darkside, Affordable Dreams, uh, Sunshine was talking earlier. I was throwing some questions at him. And Mike Naughty, who is the captain of the WHL team. Mike's not uh, answering questions. He's too busy winning chips. No big deal. <laughs> Did somebody say I'm the best? I think I heard that. I, uh, I definitely did I not hear that. Anyone, no no yeah, one said yeah. that at all. No. <laughs> no. I don't think anyone has ever said that, but you're, you're for talking pims. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, I have I I do hold a record. Lo and behold, and so I, it's I, a I, good I, record I, though. Yeah, it's the best. It's a, it's in the CHR where those uh, affordable dreams and dark are. I hold a CHR record. <laughs> oh, uh oh, for Pims, I, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it is. It is. Yeah, I was I gonna say. I want. I want to clarify. I'm pretty sure it's Pims. Did you not make the, the lowest points per game for an ECHL winger this year, Dark? Uh, for an ECHL winger, no. I beat Rat. Woohoo. Oh well, I mean, I mean, that's no, no, no heartbeat. <laughs> no, I was. Uh, I was. I was near the uh, the bottom, but definitely not at. <laughs> Which I mean, honestly, I did, did for me considering your your first week coming out, you were just on fire. Yeah, you know what? Um, I uh, I made the poor decision of being a playmaker. Uh, and yes. didn't uh, didn't make the switch uh, switch to sniper till about week six, which was uh, yeah, a bold poor... strategy, Cotton. <laughs> yeah, <it> was <laughs> not my smartest decision, but uh, yeah, I found that uh, no matter how many times you get a one timer as a playmaker, you seem to somehow always miss the net. <laughs> Same with Dangler. D- Dangler was great for everything until he wants to shoot the puck. <laughs> yes, you're right in front of that goaltender. Yeah, it's, it's unfortunate because you know you'd really think they'd make the builds a little, a little more balanced in that regard. Well, I mean, I mean, hashtag NHL 2020. Hopefully, we get some kind of better builds back. Hopefully, Let, let's let's see if the future holds. Yeah, I mean, fingers crossed. Um, yeah, uh, he's not been a... asked for for what the past five years. Five games, anyways. Bring back the practice rooms. Bring back the builds. It's been asked upon, so hopefully, ease with you know. Yeah, I'm a big proponent of the uh, the practice room. That's something I definitely miss. Yeah, for sure. I, actually, honestly, as much as guys disagree with me, I miss GM Kevin mode. I, I love that mode. You know, get like 12, 12 or twenty buddies in there and just have a good time uh, playing each other and running seasons. I, I miss the get connected. Connect, See, connect I like the concept of GM connected. It was uh, it was a fun experience for me, but. Um, or at least the concept was fun, but like uh, the problem I ran into, and this is obviously the group you're with, is I feel like it takes more commitment than people are usually willing to put into it. It, it does, it does. But I mean, every like, like, like Madden still has it, right? What so about that game? If, <laughs> if, if they can have it, why can't we? You know what I mean? That, mm-hmm. that that's kind of where I'm at there. Fair though, Madden has two game modes, and it's franchise and hut or. What is it for the mud? mud. Whatever. Mud. Yeah, yeah mud. literally. So said it's your, your choice of trash or trash. Cool. Mm-hmm. I mean, and they, they, they had their storyline they did. Uh, it was okay, but it was definitely. I'm sorry, good. trash with the side of one and a half hours of cutscenes. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, what there was that story game mode? Like, 
It's called long shot. It's a long mode shot. where you play a total of like forty two seconds of gameplay. Fantastic. That is awful. No one cares. <laughs> I uh, I started playing it for about five minutes. I was uh, game sharing with someone and uh, got bored very quickly. No, I mean, t- 2020, man, apparently you can uh, start in the college eh, and work your way up and you can do a lot more throughout your... Uh, allegedly. Allegedly, right? Yeah, so that's the hype anyways. I've watched some videos and uh, if that's the case, I'm looking forward to it. Except for the fact that you're stuck only a quarterback. You can't pick to be a receiver. You can't pick to be a running back. You're just a quarterback. Um, but I mean, still, it's, it's, if it's true, it's a step in the right direction. Like, I, I don't really care what position. Let me customize my player. Uh, right. Spoiler alert, I'm not a six foot four right handed black guy. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I much sure. like to look like the plug I'm going to play as, you know what I'm saying? Right. You know, exactly. I don't know if you guys remember this. This was years ago. Uh, maybe, geez, Madden 13, 14, something like that. And um, they had <laughs> where you could actually go online and put a photo of your face and it would try and morph it into the oh yeah. yes oh, yeah. yes <laughs> it was 2k uh 2k still does that you, yeah, with the PlayStation still, camera. Yeah. how well does it work by the way uh nowadays it's not bad it's pretty, okay because well. yeah, i remember back then i looked a little bit uh special and i know yeah. i'm not the best looking guy <laughs> yeah. but like not much has changed since then dark in uh, oh. 2k uh, me and john <laughs> kenny might be twins it's fine <laughs> <laughs> I know we're talking a lot of crap on Madden and 2K, but uh, can we just give a shout out to Lobby Simulator 19? <laughs> Fantastic game. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I mean, they must have put a lot of effort into this. Uh, I like. I do like the new dressing room mode. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. I have these nice green bars that like it just keeps me engaged. Like I want to see the ready. Like, I'm ready. You know what I'm saying? I'm not excited. <laughs> Yeah, you get to feel like you're about to play with six guys, and and you know you don't actually have to. Who wants to play a game? That sounds that sounds dumb. It sounds like a whole bunch of CR loss, honestly. Let's be honest. And and, and clearly, CR is the most important thing ever. <laughs> oh, and it looks like we're gonna get another DR error. Thick. It's it's looking like it. Is not happy something here. Everybody goes quiet. Yeah, we're all hoping and praying here. No, this is definitely a DR. Yeah, at this point. Yeah, 100% is. Well. Which side is it this time? Who is the coin flip? <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm blaming Mike. I'm this. <laughs> <laughs> this is a long one. <laughs> well, this is a great big ripple. Uh... Yeah, I mean, this is probably the <laughs> longest the I've ever seen a DR error happen. <laughs> yeah it's still here well thanks for tuning into this uh truly entertaining stream uh with dark affordable dreams mike naughty and sunshine uh as you can see we are staring at a screen in a circle going round and round <laughs> it's, uh, yes it's all we ever dreamed of right <laughs> it's really coming to play <laughs> yeah. Um, and there we go. There's finally the GR error to kick us back, give her another try. Um, for sure. Um, now I know I've had this conversation with you uh, privately, Mike, but uh, push it out, Mike, uh, Sunshine, publicly. Um, you're kind of against the concept of switching back to being able to apply attribute points to a a build, sort of a la NHL Night 14 and earlier. Yeah, so uh, I'll, I'll just give my side of the argument. Uh, I'm a big believer in pick your height and weight based on that. You know, here's X amount of skill points. Put them where you want and build. Uh, if we get into, like, where 2K is, I'm not about to spend another $60 to get myself to a 99 to play LG. Like, I'll just have to retire. I, I don't think it, sh- it should be an option to pay to win. It has you gotta will be. It's EA. It is, but I'm hoping they really don't. 
I'm hoping that what they do for their for their money is cosmetics. I sure always hope that EA makes a good game, and I, I they disappoint me more than Lions do. You know, <laughs> <laughs> is that possible though? Really, let's be honest here. I mean, NHL's been bad. You know, I, I wouldn't doubt it. Now there is rumor that 2K is coming back with their own model hockey. Uh, how true is that? I'm I'm not too sure. Again, I, I'm cool with competition, but I why I don't play 2K and I'm, I'll never play LGBA. <laughs> if you ain't got a 99 overall player that shoots three, what are you doing? Right, exactly, exactly. I just think about it, like especially for like that first season, um, you basically got a, a month to get your player to 99 overall. Yeah, otherwise time would be, but right. Yeah, yeah. You decide this player build sucks. Like I, I'm not the right size. My height and weight are wrong for for what I'm trying to do. I think it was uh, yeah. NHL 14 or 15 when I first started playing online. Yeah, I've avoided, I avoided I avoided like a plague for a longest time. Like, and uh, you, you'd start off as like a 68 overall, and here yeah, comes no, the I, team I, dressed I in the, uh, in the end of 15. I was like, gold, how do you guys armor. skate so well? Like, I, I can't keep pace with nobody, right? I was like, this is garbage. Right. <laughs> yeah, no, 14 was was difficult in that way, but it was sort of to reward players who who had been grinding it for so long, and that's sort of the yeah, one yeah, argument to it is you know the fact that you can come in buy the game in you know april and sign up for the final season of lg and be just as good in terms of um player class right right yeah exactly and that's the one the i guess one annoyance for people who who've been grinding this game for such a long time who've been very loyal it feels there's no reward for being loyal to the game to to me mlb kind of had it right this year with their builds I have not played it yet, so you'd have to come concept in. over to a, uh, NHL be nice. Well, but it is basically everything has a cap to it, right? I mean, you, you could be the heavy hitter, but you can only go so high in speed then or so high in whatever else. You couldn't go 99 to everything. It they changed it. You can go 99 and everything. Yeah, but they, they, changed, okay. Okay. they changed it to where, if, like, let's say you're pure power. Uh, you can get to 99 speed, but the, the rate at which you'll get, like, Attribute boost for speed is way slow. Yeah, yeah, way slower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's almost impossible, I guess, to do it. Uh, I think, I guess, maybe it was last year where you couldn't cap on it. Yeah, but it was the same concept in in fourteen. It cost you more XP as you tried to apply um, points to a certain trait. It would get more and more expensive, especially if it was outside the realm of what your guy should be doing. So, for example, you know, if you're an enforcer, your speed should be low. So to get your guy to ninety nine speed, you're going to have to use such a large portion of your XP that your shot's going to be terrible or your passing's going to be terrible. I, believe 14, I saw some unfortunate who had 99 speed and, and like a, a great shooting, but that was basically it and, and hitting, right? But that was it. I was like, wow, like, you know, I kept saying unfortunate. Come on, get realistic now. They, if they can bring the bills back, like cap that out to a realistic thing, like uh, an unfortunate can't go past you know, 75 speed. Yeah, or whatever the number is. Yeah, for sure. Again, right. and these are all these are all opinions. We'll have to wait and. Find out mid September what's going to go on. Is that worth doing? 100%. And I'm fairly and certain it's going to be a, a very similar game to what we're currently playing. I mean, the builds this year weren't awful. I mean, the perks were nice pretty bad. I say I'm not a huge fan. I like the perk concept. Uh, the issue I have exactly. is still they're, fundamental they're, they're, they're issues. With some I mean, of the, the builds. concept is nice. The, the, the perks, the perks weren't great perks. I mean, they, they, I think depending on where you put it, from like tier one to tier two, you got like a four or two boost on certain things, or it could have been a, a little heavier. That and um, I feel as though uh, auto sauce is missing. I rip, yeah. rip the dream for my auto sauce. I love playing as a playmaker. <laughs> yeah, because I never had to worry about R one. <laughs> well, that's catch, that's the thing. It, catch it, the biggest force you'll ever see in your life. That'll get through because it's saucy as can the be. The other thing I've noticed is is this year the reach is gone. Depending on build you are, the reach is gone. If you're a bigger build with a great great IQ, you're going to get that reach. But I mean, a sniper and a pox in front of him, he doesn't reach for us. So like why? I, a sniper would do that. I'm sorry. Uh, so that was a concept to me that got wrong. Yeah, it's, I it's, hope. It's uh, little things. I hope for goalies, uh, one of two things, or actually two of two things, uh, make them like actually real. Don't don't stick the animations to where like, especially on like these shitters, you got no chance because your goalie's too busy uh, finishing the last eight seconds of his animation before he's right. Gonna... Yeah, yeah. I've always I've always said it for years, and it'll never happen. I'm sure but it's bringing a scramble mode in for goaltenders, so like you can hold square or something instead of doing an animation dive. You're in scramble mode where you can hustle across the neck quickly and scramble for big saves. Scramble. I, I also I also hope they change the right stick back to the uh, anticipate shot. I think it was 14 had it. Yeah. Basically, a guy's yeah, coming down 14. on you. You hold glove side, blocker side, high low. 
You if you guess right, you 100% make the save. But if you guess wrong, you can get absolutely sniped. And like, yeah. Yeah. That to me yeah. is way more fun. Because like being a sniper is not for sniping because you're never just going to beat a goalie unless EA is just being cancer. Like, well, like always. But <laughs> you don't snipe a goalie. You know, you're beating him a different way. Yeah, for sure. Did we get another DR here? I, I saw we snipes. Did. Yeah, back to back to back. And, and I, uh, I, yeah, yeah, he's he's killed his stream as of right now. Uh, bear with us, guys. We're just... Uh, Obviously having that some tech difficulties. Um, EA not loving us tonight. Please still up right now. Sorry? Please stream. Oh, he put it back up? I mean, it's just sitting on blue screen, but it's up. Uh, it's not showing up mine. Yeah, not on my... I'm, I'm getting, are you looking, at, are you looking at Ripley 52 underscore? Yeah, he's not live right now. I'm gonna reach out to uh, the both of them and see what their uh, what they're see doing. What the game plans are. <laughs> well, we could just give it to the W. It's fine. No. <laughs> I mean, let's just skip to the let's cut to the trace here. We know what's happening. Uh, I think what's happening is we have to have a a game. Me versus Mike, where I get shit stomped. But. Uh, Perhaps just pat my team's honor. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> I gotta work with this guy. That was the scariest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> I can't wait. <clears throat> uh, um, you're gonna keep your nickname, by the way, Sunshine. Just so you're aware. Uh, absolutely not. Facts. What? Uh, well, that's what what is unless this... my nickname is Forehand Frank. I'll accept that. <laughs> no, I believe that uh, Dark and Affordable are curious as to as to what your new nickname is. You should probably tell them. Uh, you know, I'm going to say no, because that's something that uh, you put on me. Uh, I don't want you to put that evil on me, all right? <laughs> <laughs> so so for those of you who are, are uh, uninformed, uh, Sunshine and I, after streaming for four hours last night, we're getting a little loopy, and... Um, I came up with an inappropriate and uncouth nickname for my buddy Sunshine. We which can't not, say because this is a PG shall, show. Which shall not be named. Uh, <laughs> but I am taking all comers uh, for suggestions as to Sunshine. You would nickname. take all comers. Come on, guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when you look like me, you can't be choosy, bro. It's, it is what it is. <laughs> But uh, yeah, any suggestions, post them in the chat box, and uh, we'll, we'll consider it and put it up for a vote. I'm going to have a fantastic <laughs> nickname. I'll change my player name to it. Why not? Ooh, that's even better. Look at that. All right. And uh, I have to ask, as a very interested member, uh, can can the other media members vote on this? <laughs> uh, your no. input will be considered. Okay. Okay. Uh, as Mike would say, uh, we like saying no. <laughs> <laughs> we like saying no, he says. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. Which which I believe we may change the name of our stream to. <laughs> <laughs> well, you haven't officially changed it on Twitch anyway, so you still have time. Yeah. So, <laughs> we like to say no. Sunshine, you are a beaut, bud. <laughs> did we, uh, my best. Did we all get, on, get in here? We are. We're playing a game. We're playing oh hockey. Oh my god! Bro. Holy crap! Oh, we're, right, let's go. go. We're rocking and rolling. All right, so we're uh, going to switch over to the WHL view here, as uh, the ECHL is trying to come out strong here. Get uh, get the early one. A little bit disappointed with their with their gameplay last last game. I'm sure. So they're trying to. Oh, I mean, they got to be lit now because if we lose now, it's done, right? They got to be lit. Yeah, for sure. And uh, we see some frantic hockey early here. Uh, but the WHL looking at, to pressure and not getting a, a whole lot done, turning it over quite a bit early often, early on rather. Uh, yeah, they figured the trap out there, you know. Best way to get it rid of the trap is just get on them before they can set up. Yeah, for sure. And and, and that frantic play leads to a power play. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Definitely, yep, yep. Well, Big thing, uh, one. WHL can't uh, capitalize here on the power play. And setting up here, looking for the point shot on a nice tip there, but a uh, good save by Can of 20 to keep this game scoreless. And a good little uh, 
clear out there. Kill a bit, a bit of seconds off. Yeah, for sure. And a bit of a ballsy wrap there, but uh, unable to keep it in. He said WHL. ECHL bringing it back out, trying to burn some extra time by skating off the ice. About 30 seconds left in the power play for the WHL here. Uh, being that they run uh, fairly heavy uh, collapse style defense there, Mike, um, do you think the WHL should try and work with uh, sort of like a modified umbrella for their power play, give it another chance? Uh, I think they they would be better off getting behind the net on the on the uh, power play. Okay. Uh, uh, working a similar, you know, ah, excuse excuse my French, but a uh, uh, team after my own heart, similar style that the Penguins do, which is. Uh, you know, pop a guy behind behind the net and, and uh, look for that top of the circle uh, Phil Kessel shot. Yeah. Oof. Cheeseburger Philly, eh? <laughs> guy, guy pots goals, though. I don't know. Phil and Kessel it, is it, like a, a punter in the dog, NHL. Hot dogs, not cheeseburgers. Get it right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, in Toronto, he eats a lot of cheeseburgers. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was hot dogs. It was um, a Steve Simmons uh, article. He, he bashed the uh, fill-in. Definitely hot dogs. Guy even was a legend and puts uh, hot dogs in the cup on his second or first win. I can't remember which. It was his first one. He put hot dogs in the cup. In. Yeah. It's always a red flag when the dude has hot dogs all over the place. I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, can't, uh, can't say he's not a good player. I mean, I can say he's the NHL's version of a punter. Dude shows up for like four seconds, but <laughs> rocks something when he hits it. <laughs> hey, that's that's all he's needed. It's gotten him two cups so far. Uh, hey, right, exactly. No, he knows how to fit in a backpack. I can tell him that much. He'll probably be out of Pittsburgh this season. That's my much, uh, anticipation much love, well. much love, Phil. But uh, it was a good run while it lasted. Well, his caps are pretty high. Uh, I have much love. Now get out of my face. I believe it's six point eight as of right now, and uh, yeah, he's almost at seven million. And um, yeah, you're welcome for that, by the way. Uh, you know, <laughs> Toronto's still retaining on that, buddy. Yeah, um, not a lot though. They, they took the no, they, they took the first two years, not this last year. Yeah, oh, exactly. they didn't. Okay. Um, well, yeah. I mean, and, and still, I mean, you retain salary on a guy who went on to put up ninety points and and win, win two cups. I mean, you're getting carried though. It ain't hard to do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember who Toronto got in that deal. Uh, they got uh, Kasperi Kapanen, who's actually been a pretty yeah. good uh, player for them, but uh, no yeah. cups. I mean, I mean, it's Toronto. Do you really I think see, they're going to win something? Call I me. Mean, no. I see it every year. It's our year. And every year, it's a, a failed dream for <laughs> since I was like, uh, no, a, a four year old. <laughs> they think the Lions plus a thousand they win before uh, Toronto does. Fine. <laughs> uh, but I mean, Toronto has the right pieces going together now. They're just missing a few, a few good aspects. And, and I, I take the, I take the dog on that bet there, Sunshine. Yeah, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and a nice Ooh. move there to cut in and short side the goalie who got caught cheating just a little bit off that post. And again, it's like last game, the early lead for ECHL, but can they hang on to it? Yeah, and, and you know what? I'll give the ECHL props. They're taking it to the house instead of trying to force that cross freeze, which they've uh, they've done quite a bit so far. And we see it here again with, with four guys out front. Yeah, it's amazing that the the W is able to to. We, I mean, we switch guys in and out, and we're able to maintain the same style of play on defense. It's a that's a that's a testament to you know guys guys knowing how to play hockey and and uh, you know following a system as Sunshine was saying earlier. Right. Yeah. Definitely. For sure. All right, a two on one opportunity here for the ECHL. Heinze hanging on to it, looking for the one handed tuck on the backhand. A uh, bit of an ill advised move and covered up pretty easily there by Penn Stater. Ego move there, but I kind of like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's one of those, like, you, you, you're pretty sure it's not going in, but if it does, it's game over. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I'm still waiting to see someone do the uh, breakaway slap pass off the boards to the Manny one time. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> right, yeah. That would be nice if we don't see that. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't think so. No, I mean, it'd be nice to see. Nice. Yeah, I think you would. I think you would need the uh, the biggest of balls to pull that one off. <laughs> to be fair, I don't think I've seen a, a breakaway in this entire tournament so far. Um, no, there's been a few. Definitely been a few. For you guys, maybe for you guys, I don't think there was any in our games. 
Okay. Yeah, no, we, we definitely had a few. I think uh, we, had a couple, couple, I'm sure, we had a yeah. few for the ECHL. They go for him. <laughs> you know, my memory's good, but not that good. A nice save there on the uh, wide open one time option. We had a couple penalty shots as well with uh, ECHL just got fancy with them and, 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 and doing different things. Um... <laughs> yeah, I believe one of them was a slap shot from uh, above the surface. It was. Yeah. <laughs> Reminded me of Sunshine uh, losing 25 CR in a threes game the other night. Oof. Did, he, did, oh, he just, did he just put you out there like that, Sunshine? <laughs> I sure did. Bro, he just he just threw you under the bus, drove it over, and, and then ran backwards and came back again. Yep. Yeah, see, this is what I get when I play with Dark, you know what I'm saying? Like, yep. th this guy out here. Well, I even heard you guys had a bases game, and you had the player play where you played goaltender, and you still got stuck. Oh. Sunny doesn't want to talk about it. It's okay. <laughs> Man, holy. You're not feeling a bit attacked here. It's cool. We can, we can stream the games tonight. It's all right, man. If you were to play me, you stop me, so it's all right. <laughs> I'm not here to play sixes. I'm here to score Geno's. No biggie. There you go. There you go. We're going to replay a look here. I want snipe stream. They're replaying it back and forth. That last big save by the WHL. I guess it's confusing how he didn't score. <laughs> I didn't yeah, score because that was a pretty, pretty telegraphed move there. Spoiler yeah. alert, uh, Penn State's in net. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, he's had a hell of a tournament tournament so far. Yeah, he has. He is a, he is a decent G. I, I, I assume he's, he's, he's going to. He's going to end up somewhere uh, outside of the C next season. And uh, you called for it, Mike. We got a penalty shot here. Yeah, there it is. Forehand time. And he does go with the forehand, but a big glove save there by Caniff on the spread eagle. Kind of huge. Flashing while they're laying down. Your ESPN is working very well as well, Sunshine. <laughs> no. I'm happy to see a fellow member use the forehand, but if you're going to use it, you better put it in the net there, bud. <laughs> <laughs> With great, with great power, right? Oh, yeah, with great power it requires great celebrations after you, you pot a Gino. <laughs> and uh, CR trying to try that uh, <clears throat> spin wrap move and, and no luck. THL smart here because uh, the defense for the WHL, they're, they're letting them come out of the corners fairly uncontested. That's why I'd be setting up all night. Yeah, I think it's because of the uh, the style that was played uh, last game by the ECHL with a lot of forced crosses. Uh, they're not worrying too much about protecting the, the house as much as they are worried about protecting those crosses. Well, we got Definitely. another breakaway opportunity maybe here, but it decides to ha hand it off there for the uh, bit of a three-on-two in tight there, and it does not work out. Sometimes you got to get a little greedy, bud. Sometimes especially you do, right? When, especially when you got a blue icon over your head. You don't pass the puck. <laughs> <laughs> Confirmed four passes last season by Sunshine. Oh, and there and a greasy is one. High and goal. Yeah, as he uh, he just <clears throat> drives the net in short side, sort of similar to the the first goal we saw by saw by the ECHL. Yeah, say, very similar uh, goals back and forth there. Yeah, for sure. Uh, uh, goalies goalies seem to be overprotecting for the cross crease because they've seen a lot of it tonight. Yeah, I will say in in <clears throat> Canif's defense, he was hugging the post. Uh, fortunately, he was doing the the vertical hug, which leaves your five hole fairly exposed. Yeah, he, he didn't go low hugging that post that time, and, and that's a bit of it. Yeah, but again, you and, can't... and and to be honest, when when I'm a pension D man, that's that's uh, that is a beautiful way to tuck it in. Yeah, for sure. And again, you know, your defense has got to make sure they, the player can't walk to the post with that much ease. That's right. Which is where my 6'5", 240 build comes in play, because then I can just walk. <laughs> <laughs> what a nice sauce across, and they get it back. Oh, and he Ooh. just whiffs on the 1T with a wide open net in front of him. And the ECHL is starting to pour it on, um, not liking the fact that they... They don't want to lose either. time. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm blowing another one nothing lead, right? Mm hmm Yeah, exactly. That's the last time they did this, they, 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 they lost 2-1, to one, right? So, uh... Yeah, not, to, not down for it this time. Exactly. Oof, absolutely yeah. laid out. And he is hurt. He is somebody, hurt and struggling to get up. Somebody call the stretcher, maybe? Yeah. 
Maybe. Welcome to the dub, son. <laughs> and a nice. This, this is what I was talking about earlier. Um, with the defenseman skating a bit too much, uh, you're just skating to the point where all your forwards are stopped at the, the blue line, and then you pass it. Like, yeah, and I can confirm as a um, as someone who's played defense a lot, that is very frustrating. Um, to see you know your your partner doing that skating until they have nowhere to go, uh, and then you got to reset the whole play. Oh, and a nice keep there at the blue line. Nice tip shot tip there. Well. Yeah, and again, yeah, the, right. the yeah. WHL getting the, the ECHL rattled a little bit here. Uh, but they managed to, to clear it out with about a minute left on the power play. I mean, the ECHL is going to stay the box now. They missed control from last time when they lost the lead with, with taking a power play. A penalty, sorry. And giving the yeah. WHL power play. And... uh now you got to be kind of cautious. To, to, don't want to give them those chances. They've already shown they can capitalize. Yeah, for sure. And an errant pass goes down for an icing. That's two straight big stretch passes on the on the power play that that were na unable to make it home. For sure. Trying too hard to go for the throat, I think. Yeah, exactly. I had a funny feeling when he. This is a prediction a little bit here uh, to a third period 1-1 one, one tie again. <laughs> it's, just, it's an easy prediction because, uh, you know, it's so close to the end of the period. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that being said, our predictions usually turn Go out to south. be the exact opposite. I'm pretty sure I, I ruined like four teams' playoff <laughs> games by saying it was going to be tight. Uh, hey, you know, to, be, to be fair, uh, me and Mike, uh, Rochester and five, hello. <laughs> uh, I mean, I come on, will, but... <laughs> Voted for the Weekings to win every game in the, uh, the 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 men finals there, but to be fair, every team I vote for loses. <laughs> <laughs> so people could say that I'm a, I was being a weedy fan. Maybe, maybe I was just making sure they were going to lose. <laughs> Big save there by Penn Stater. That's what you want to see out of a goalie, though. I mean, it's kind of a obvious play when he's cutting across like that and, yeah. and holding for yeah, him. Definitely. But it's one that your goalie needs to be like, okay, well, there's a guy sliding back door. I should probably hedge run bets here. And I mean, it's just a good play he's done a few times today. It's what you like to see out of attending. Yeah, That's for that, sure. And it's, it's not the, he was a goalie, right? Yeah, and it's not the it's not the flashiness, right? It's the consistency, being able to read what's going to happen in front of you. Yeah. They just opened the trade window. That's fun. Already three trades through. That was quick. Wow. Yeah, that was quick. Look at you, Sunshine, all over it. <laughs> breaking news coming from Sunshine today. Do we have some breaking news uh, music here? <laughs> dun dun. <laughs> Nailed it. Uh. Oh, that's a bold trade right there. All right, going into the third period, tied 1-1 one, one are the ECHL and the WHL. Uh, WHL currently leading the best two out of three series by one game. So the ECHL <coughs> really feeling the pressure here. They got to get a win. They got to have a strong third period. Yeah, this is time to do or die right now. Do or die. Yeah. And they've been here before. Yep, and they're yeah, coming I mean, on strong here, but uh, being contained pretty well, I'll say, by the WHL's defense. Definitely. Another injury on the ice there. He's still slow to get up. Yeah, I believe that's the same guy. And, uh, for... uh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you know it's a did, Mike Naughty approved team right there. About that? About you guys getting <laughs> injured this game? <laughs> and it's going to hurt you? <laughs> I'm sure there's an ESPN like, oh, well, going on, eh? Yeah, right? it's, a, it's, it's a strategy that's worked well for me through the years, Colin. <laughs> Just hurt them. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, you, you, you take away their attributes. Yep, exactly. Yeah, over Can't time. score if you don't got a you don't Whether it's their stick hands or their hands or their, or their skating, you take away that, that one brick of theirs and, and it's going to affect them a lot. Yeah, for sure. 
Not only that, but uh, a lot of the big hits create momentum. And, they you they know, do, and, and the, bar, the, the bounces start going a little your way, especially when you're down. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, I'm all for the physical play. Yeah. We see another breakout there where the D-man just hangs on to it too long, especially against a team that is trying to trap. Nice keep there. Mm -hmm. And forced across on the sauce, but he managed to pick it up and throw it back to his point, looking for that uh, pad shot, no luck. And shoots and scores, skating all the way back to the point for the one T. And they're getting a cycle going now. They're really starting to cycles happening now. Yeah, definitely. They're working it. Yeah, for sure. And uh, I think Ripley might be the most popular guy in the world. Get <laughs> w is really backed up. Uh, ECHO is. Uh... Looking highly motivated to try to get out of this one more right time. Right now, they definitely are, yep. Stater really trusting his defense there on that play right there. Mm -hmm. Which is good on him. Definitely good on him. It's about all you can do as a goalie, right? When you when you start trying to overcommit and compensate for your defense, you might make a couple extra cross-crease saves, but you're probably going to get burnt on a short side simple play. For sure. And uh, the W so trying to come back and like get that, something going here. You definitely got to take advantage and uh, get back on the rush while you're uh, basically on a five on four. A lot of hesitance here for the dub. Yeah, I think yeah. we're a little, bit, a little bit nervous being that the ECHL is starting to take it to them a little bit. Uh, trying to get set up here and getting stripped pretty easily. Uh, maybe the ECHLs figured out how the how the uh, W's been breaking their trap and and uh, kind of adjusting a little bit here. Uh, definitely not getting the breakouts the W wants here. As again, we see the D. You gotta love Ripley's name, long. by the way. <laughs> Believe it or not, huh? Comma <laughs> dash quotation mark. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, a good takeaway there, but uh, turns it over pre. Uh, Pretty quickly, shortly pretty after. Quickly. Yeah. But still, I mean, uh, you know, the WGL locking down any, even though giveaways happen in the zone, any chance of doing anything with it, they're just locking it down defensively as well. Doing a good job hemming in the pressure the ECHL has caused. And again, we're back to the same point as last game here now. We're almost an overtime spot, but this is where the e, uh, W did score. Yeah, that, that clutch uh, last minute <clears throat> game winner and the tie up there. And, and almost the same play of put it in for his yep, last game. But uh, no luck. Is, uh, <laughs> the defense would played a little better that time as CR Snipes cuts in, forces that cross. Oh, and a turnover. Oh, and a huge hit that's going to result in a penalty. Uh, he is injured, I believe. And this time it's uh, role reversal. ECHL with the power play coming into the possible overtime or ending. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And we see the ECHL taking the timeout here. Switching over to the ECHL stream while Ripley uh, deals with some notifications. Sure, sure. Yeah, he's been doing that a lot lately, eh? <laughs> yeah. Popular guy. Yeah, he must be. Uh, yeah, exactly. It's maybe those, maybe uh... he's getting spammed for a club game or maybe for a trial. Yeah, uh, who knows? Higher up league, right? Rod and Cred, is that, uh, is that you out there? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Spam messages. I know somebody else likes to spam people. He gets ignored a lot, though, I mean. It's all right. <laughs> I, hear, I, hear, I hear he's a very handsome guy. <laughs> the uh, the ECHL is trying to set something up here on the power play and running it behind the net, uh, sort of like what Mike talked about, but uh, the W doing a good job to box him out a little bit here and forcing the pass through, goes back to the point, back to the center, and back over, and again, Penn State are reading it. Pretty easily. And that, that's to me is basically going to put us over time. Uh, and unless they get the one T play off the draw, that's going to be the overtime, right? More than likely. But um, a take, hot take, right? <laughs> Safest predictions of the night goes to Dream. <laughs> <laughs> Got to keep it safe, man. <laughs> yeah. You know, I think I think this is going to be a, definitely be a close one. You know. 
Oh, yeah, I mean, for sure. I mean, uh, we're hitting over time now, tied 1-1. Yeah. So this we'll game, take a portable dream game, take on to it. <laughs> yeah. This game uh, will probably come down to who scores next, I would assume. I, you know what? I, crucial, right? It's dicey, but yeah, I think you're, uh, <laughs> I think you're right, buddy. <laughs> Nesco either ends the... Uh, the uh, the the best of three or it continues. <laughs> Here's yeah. my bold take for OT. All uh, right, CHL all right. does not score on this power play; they lose the game. All right, there we go. There we uh, go. I will agree if they don't score on the power play. All right, boys, for all the marbles, huh? All the marbles on the table. Is Texas hold them? Has anybody Final seen round. my marbles lately? I haven't. Seen them <laughs> Everyone's all in. Who has the right cards to win it? Again, that four sauce pass. It, it, we've seen it all all night and all tournament. Uh, the WHL getting wise to it, making sure it's uh, it's not an option. Yeah, he's gonna do something different. Yeah, I can appreciate trying for the home run breakout, but when you're when you're upper man, you don't really need to. Exactly. And there's the kill. So let's see if predictions come true here. Uh, a nice stop up there and pulling into the zone is the WHL setting up here, hanging on to it on the right wing. And, and again, just forced cross crease when he had his D-man wide open. It's still yeah, shitter yeah, Caesar, sure. I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bit of an unnecessary L2 results in a turnover. Uh, the ECHL battling for it with the W, and they do manage to get it up and out uh, to the red line and, and not too much for the rest of force to reset here. Uh, and the W starting to, to put the clamps on a little bit and make sure that the E can't get anything uh, really past that blue line. Yeah, 100%. Ooh, and a force pass results in a, a two on one ish uh, force ish. across and uh, no luck. Oh, and pressure the blue line and a good job to keep it back in. I thought it was uh, going the other way for a break. And just some straight line speed by Sped here holds up with the L2 and again just forcing that cross. Uh, both teams not really giving up the option for it. Um, and it's it's funny because it hasn't resulted in a goal this. This it has more. <laughs> so you think they want to change it a little bit here and, and look for something else. And uh, the ECHL made a little break here. Potential chance. Oh, and hold the level. The big <laughs> That's Keep good to the puck there, bud. That's Just good defensive play, here. recognizing that the, the shot of the pass is not going to come and you yep. take the man. That's right, uh, definitely. But uh, that's a that's a ballsy move because uh, I've been burned a few times doing that. That's when the uh, behind the back pass is looking real good. Yeah, as soon as he yeah, steps, exactly. you're flinging it back. I'm throwing back to the point for the WHLs are starting to try to cycle a little bit and throws a, a clapper right into the crest of the goalie there. Call a bold strategy. <laughs> the only thing going for ECHL in my mind, right, in the back of their minds, is you know they, they had to play the Wheat Kings. This is basically essentially the Idaho uh, Steelheads forward line, right? So I mean, uh, they played the, the, the Idaho Steel, uh, Idaho geez, Wheat Kings in that that, that, that Mem Sammy's and then lost out to WHL side. So in the back of their heads, they don't want to repeat it. They, they want to show they can. Uh, take it to the house to WHL teams. Yeah, and with that being said, going down a man here is not going to help exactly. that cause. No, definitely not. And WHO playing on the perimeter a little bit here, and again that that force through the middle. I was kind of excited that they discovered that they have two defensemen, but uh, they weren't. <laughs> yeah, it's been lackluster there, hasn't it? Yeah, every uh, honestly, both teams every play has been forcing the cross crease with four guys in front, which. I mean, I mean, this, this poor guy playing teal right now is just sitting here holding a Manny Clapper like, yeah, no big deal. I'm here for whenever you want to score a goal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he unfortunately <laughs> got in the way there. Yeah. 
Wasn't expecting the pass. I can't blame him for the first time they've ever done it. You know what? But I will <laughs> say uh, the one time he did take it in the rush, went for the forest cross crease. So <laughs> much as he hasn't touched the puck, should he be touching the puck? Another penalty coming up. Big hip Another check there. Play. Hello. Uh, see, that's part of the downside, though. If you don't feed your point at least a little bit and get him involved, when they do touch the puck, they're going to try to do way too much. Yeah, that is true. But, but for the most That's part, a strange sentiment thing. coming from you, I will say, though. <laughs> Ouch. I, I do have an R2 button, you know? I, I don't think you do. I heard you have a modified uh, controller uh, so that uh, your R2 yeah. button just shoots as well. Yeah, I have two right sticks, for sure. <laughs> yeah, and Ginger said it, you know, both teams just skating straight, looking for that cross. It's it's not a good look. It's It's not working. It hasn't resulted in a goal this game. For either team, uh, you know, you gotta you gotta adapt. The first team who does something besides that is likely gonna win it. Tag shitter season. <laughs> and uh, pinching up and taking a penalty is the WHL. So the ECL, ECHL getting their chance after to after taking two time. penalties back to back on their own. Uh, get a chance now to uh, regain some energy and and get their power play right. Yeah, Ripley's <laughs> in the box. So I'm going to switch over to uh, see our uh, snipe just stream snipes. here. Yeah, just uh, to get a bit of a per better perspective on it. For sure, for sure. And this is always had having two streamers you can do this kind of stuff. It's great. We're, we're limited to one, and that guy's in the box. It kind of sucks for us. Yeah, for sure. And again, cutting across here, looking back door cross crease, but. Penn Stater's been making those nice all play. night. It's, it's a nice play, but Penn Stater's ready for them every time. It's a nice play the first time. Yeah. And it's a nice play if you score. You do it 8,000 times, and the goalie has no problem with it anymore. Right, exactly. Mm, hashtag use your defense. Yeah. Hashtag defensemen are people, too. <laughs> <laughs> Can confirm. Shitty people, for, people nonetheless. It's oh. for the brand. Come on, what are we doing? That cuts deep, bro. I mean, fellow D-man, whatever. <laughs> I think Mike Knotty had more goals than you this year, Dark. He did not. But nice try. I think he he definitely had more assists than you. I didn't. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm sure he had more assists than you. Maybe not, maybe not points, but assists. <laughs> no, 100% sure he did not. Okay, okay. It's a lot when I shoot and don't score, and someone else scores, right? Yeah. Uh, guaranteed Mike Naughty had more hits than both of you. Yeah, uh, agreed. <laughs> agreed. It's a fact. I don't know if I hit double digits. <laughs> I hit triple but, digits. I was, uh, that's why I have Mike around. He, he makes sure no one hits me. <laughs> <laughs> Big freeze coming in. I love it. <laughs> yep. Apparently, D-men are people. Goalies, not so much. Apparently, time on attack is not a thing if you want to win a cup, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Shots fired. I mean, hey, he's got a cup. <laughs> uh, it, uh, to answer uh, Ginger there, he's actually tried it once in this game, and uh, it, it did not work. And again, that nice little onesie, but Penn Stater's basically saying to him, look, unless you guys get a rebound or a tip on me, it's not going in. Right. I'll yes, play all night. I'll play all night, right? And, and, and they're gonna go into like their their second overtime here. So, uh... <laughs> yep, with uh, about 14 seconds left in the clock here, uh, the WHL going to clear it out one more time while on the PK, and that'll pretty much do it for uh, for our first overtime. I want to give a big shout out to the Dub for uh, just rocking like six people while they're on the PK. That's super bold, and I'm way into it. <laughs> six, even the goalie getting decked out there. Well, uh, yeah, I guess so. Sunshine, you gonna take that? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Man's not even paying attention. He's like, "Fuck you!" I'm gonna ignore him. Yeah. <laughs> Old strategy, Cotton. <laughs> yeah, we'll see if it pays off. <laughs> Almost identical time on attack, similar shots. Um, Face-offs heavily in favor of the WHL again. No, similar shots is a, is a mistake. That's uh, 17 shots for the ECHL and 10 shots for the WHL. Oh, my bad. I completely yeah, missed that. That's a big deal. Deal. 
Uh, Big Freeze coming out saying Rush is better than in zone play. That's how you dude's got a ship, so hey, I mean, I ain't hating. I'm just, you know, I'm just here. I got no bling to uh, to flaunt like that. Besides that, for uh, a cup check, two uh, two games IHL championship you got there. (laughs) (laughs) A shout out to us not doing anything fun in the off season. Like, once you're out of playoffs, like, yeah, go kick rocks, I guess. <laughs> I, uh, oh, I actually, I will admit, I've been a bit, big proponent for trying to push for a uh, world championship uh, instead of a world junior championship for the AHL. Um, try and get something. IHL? Like yeah, however you want to call it, yeah. I know that's what it was, uh, what, previously? Yeah. Yeah, I know they tried bringing it back in three-on-three. Three. Spoiler alert, no one wants to play three-on-three. Yeah. <laughs> Hey uh, man, just hey sounds man. like a bad time. I played in that. I, I I resemble that remark. Like saying so I can respect it, but other than that, and uh, bold strategy by the uh, ECHL shooting it all the way down the ice for an icing. Well, uh, they were they were hemmed in their zone, and uh, the W is finally taking some advice and. Shooting the oh, puck on and that. there it is. Oh, but it's uh, it's being waved off. The review is coming in. Now they calling this a kick and interference. I'm guessing interference based on the. They shall not be for bud. <laughs> and waved off, unfortunately, in uh, the second period of uh, overtime here. That could have been the dagger, though. <laughs> it could have been the dagger. I'm, I'm sure they were oh. cheering in the in the party and. Oh. Uh, well, quickly shut down. Oh, and there it is. A uh, bit there of a greasy uh, play there as it's a forced cross crease banking off a D man and in. Uh, I would call that calculated. Yes. He was like, you know what? We're going to force it 8,000 <laughs> times. 8,001. We're going to bank it. Let's do it. Well, folks, that's it for our prospects journey. Uh, you got your champions there being a WHL. Taking yeah. it. Taking uh, it in the clean two, sweep. 2 nothing win. Clean sweep. Right. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, and for us, that's basically all we have for you this season as a media team. We will be back on the third for one last little show before the season starts for next season uh, for, the, for the draft and, and give you guys a, a bit of our media for the draft on the NHL side there. Uh, give you a few insights about some of the guys that are being picked up that we know about, as well as maybe some guys that we don't know about that we can throw some stats in about his season yeah for sure but uh you know again uh a great season 10 for everyone involved um you know thanks everyone for support and uh you know obviously big shout outs to affordable dreams and mike naughty and and sunshine and all our write-up guys who who helped us make this this season successful in terms of media um and next season looking forward you know uh, me and dreams will be back doing our chl show weekly we got our newcomers mike and, and sunshine coming and doing their ahl so, uh, yeah, get uh, forward to that. Quick, quick feedback there. What's the AHL show going to be called? Uh, to be determined. There, to be dreams. determined. There is, there is no solid name yet? Okay. I wasn't no, no, no. That's actually the name. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be determined. Uh, it'll it'll uh, shock and awe you. The same as the uh, 1991 Gulf War. But, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, for us, the AHL side, I'm not sure what you guys for the AHL side. For us, Minus the draft, we're not back until the pre bid show or bidding day show. Uh, it's, it's kind of our week or two weeks off. For sure. <laughs> but yeah, you know, keep keep around the site. We'll be uh, we'll be by the show boxes. Um, Definitely. And that sort of thing. So uh, again, thanks so much for all the support this season, and thanks for tuning in tonight. Uh, you yeah, guys thanks, enjoy guys. the rest well, of your uh, Canadian long weekend, and for the Americans, eh, whatever, kick rocks. <laughs> kick rocks. I will say before we get off, uh, who said that uh, ECHO was going to lose if they didn't score on that power play? This is not true. a big deal. This is true. And, and, and I, I will accept all praises for all the hard work I did. Uh, <laughs> yes, definitely. Congrats to you, Mike Naughty, for pulling out. Yeah, um, sure. Good job. Good job. Uh, it, it was super tough work, uh, you know, being a hand at a bunch of uh, really talented guys uh, who did um, all of the work. So, uh, yeah, I'll take all the praise you give. <laughs> but uh, get this guy a trophy and a contract, right? <laughs> right. But, uh, thanks everybody for tuning in, and we'll uh, catch you next time. Peace. Have a good night.